by us trying to get by All this little lips he can but still looks so fly Don't let it fool you, the cute little fixer Her name is Sky, she can ninja kick you when you ain't looking It was she, toss that inspired me To show my everyday life like CTFXC And what I got for you was wise and time So hit that little button up there, it's called subscribe Good morning everybody If I can say morning Fucking, I was up all night because I couldn't sleep. And then the lady from the welfare office decides to call me at 8.30 in the fucking morning. And, uh, you know, she uses up my whole minutes on my phone, so my phone's fucking completely done now. Got halfway through the interview process. Phone cuts out. So now I have to get out of bed at fucking 8.30 in the morning and try to walk around the city to find a fucking phone I could use with no money. It's a goddamn joke, man. I fucking hate living in this city. This province, to begin with, is completely fucking ass backwards to the rest of the goddamn country. I don't know how fucking anybody lives here. Let me put you guys down for a second. If I can. I can't. So, I finally get over to the welfare office and the lady allows me to use their phone because they don't have one for people to use. God fucking forbid the social assistance place would have a phone for some people who need social assistance. So this is what I need to get in order to get my appointment to see if I'm approved. Birth certificate, health card, SIN card, bank statement from 60 days, the last five record of employments, a copy of my lease, a doctor's note regarding the stress, I also need receipts from my internet payments and my rent payments from the last three months. Receipts. Remember, I pay everything through email transfers. There are no receipts. And then I also need a note from all the deposits that I had onto my account. So anybody who sent me any money for any reason, I need them to send me a letter written and signed by them stating why they sent me the money and what it was supposed to be used for. You know, if they want, I can cut off my fucking left leg, too. For fuck's sakes, man. This fucking boy. Like, I was sitting on the phone with the lady, and I was like, are you serious? You seriously need me to get all this shit? You realize I have no money, right? No money. And no wallet. No SIM card. No nothing. I have nothing. How the fuck are you expecting me to get $80 worth of fucking shit? How does anybody apply for welfare in this fucking province? Because I don't know anybody who's applied for welfare in my fucking life that I know that can afford to do that shit right there. Fuck, just the doctors know the loan will cost me $25. And you can't, you can't just have your social insurance number. You gotta have the fucking card. So she's not gonna even talk to me until I get a fucking social insurance card. Also, I need a birth certificate which apparently I don't have. I also have to go apply for a Nova Scotia health card because I haven't had one of those. What else do I need? The doctor's note, receipts of internet and rent payments. Like, go, go fuck yourself, you fucking uppity bitch. As if you need fucking all that shit. I even asked her too on the phone. I was like, okay, so what happens if somebody calls you who needs to get onto welfare who doesn't have anything? Nothing, they haven't had a job. They have, don't even have a bank account. They, they don't have a place to live. Uh, what else? They don't have a social insurance card or anything like that. She's like, oh, we go on a case-to-case -case basis. So what the fuck do I need all that shit for? Why? God damn it. I'm just, I'm ready to throw in the towel. That's it, you know? I mean, I'm trying to apply for mental stress reason, like, I, I, I can't work right now. I'm physically incapable of working. Even if I wanted to go back to work, which is what I want to do, I will not last more than a fucking week because if even one person says something to me that's out of line and unreasonable or un... for no reason, I will fucking lose my shit. Lose my shit. I even came close this morning. Fucking walking downtown. 
but he fucking pulls out in front of me while I'm crossing the crosswalk. He has his window open. I looked at him and I stopped right in front of his fucking car. He didn't even move. I just stood in front of his fucking bumper and he yells at me, yo, yo, you gonna move? Like, yo, you gonna learn how to fucking drive, you asshole? This is called the goddamn sidewalk. This is for me to walk on so I don't have to walk out into fucking traffic. Can you guys tell I'm upset? Can you tell I'm pissed off? I'm sick and tired of living in this fucking city with nothing but bullshit left, right, and center. And you know what it's like to get on welfare in the rest of the fucking country? In all, all the other provinces? Oh, you need to get on welfare? Oh, well, let's see your bank history for the last month. Okay, well, it's like you got some nice history, you got some ID? No? Oh, that's okay. You know, we'll take your word that you are actually who you say you are. But you do need a bank account, though. And you also need to have a, a, either a place to live or you have a place that you're going to live in. All done? Perfect. Congratulations. You're on, e you're on fucking welfare. That's it. None of this fucking jumping through hoops and cutting your left leg off and making sure that the left leg is four inches, uh, not, uh, cut, not cut four inches above the knee and that the, the leg can't weigh more than 25 pounds and uh, all the toes have to be clipped and the, uh, the pinky toe can't be curled in. It's got to be straight. Like, fuck off. So once I get all that shit collected, once I have all that done, then I have, I have 30 days to do that, by the way. They give you 30 days. You know why they give you 30 days? Because most people need 30 days to get all that fucking information. So I have 30 days to come up with it. Then I hand all that shit in. Then they review it. And then decide whether or not to approve me having a meeting to see whether or not I can get approved to be on welfare. She said it could take till the end of next month. In January. That's great. What the fuck am I gonna do now? It doesn't help me now. It's the same thing with EI. It's so fucking ass backwards, it's ridiculous. Oh yeah, you can apply for EI as soon as you are out of work. But guess what? It's gonna take six to eight weeks. One to two, over almost two months for you to even get approved. So for those two months that you have no money, go fuck yourself. So I've collected what I can collect for today. I got my bank statements. I managed to get one record of employment. And that's it. There's nothing else I can do today. Um, I went to, um, in regards to getting uh, letters or receipts or deposits from all the deposits and everything like that. She said that I can go on to my email and simply print off those who I can't get them from. And I can't do that because the fucking career center, which is the only place in fucking town that I can go and actually do free printing and copying, the printer is broken today. Go fucking figure. So I'm going to sleep. Like I should have been already. And this fucking camera, you keep going out of focus, I swear to fuck. God, can you, get, you guys can always tell how mad I am by how much I swear. I'm going back to sleep, and I'm going to fucking sleep until I feel like getting up, which probably won't be for another goddamn year. Hopefully when I wake up, this whole fucking world will be changed, and I might actually be able to live my fucking life without any worries. For fuck's sakes, this fucking... God! Ugh. Well, that was a nice, uncomfortable sleep. I'm getting really tired of sleeping on this fucking futon. It's just... What I wouldn't give to have one night's sleep on an actual bed. Oh, I can only dream. I was pretty pissed off this morning, eh? It was very frustrating for me to finally get a caseworker who was willing to actually listen to me. Who was actually willing to, you know, give me a chance. And then to unload all that fucking bullshit on me, it was just... I was I was not impressed with everything going on and all the fucking bullshit I got to go through, and it was just adding on a level of stress that was not needed. But I need to get out of this house and away from myself, um, so I'm going to be going to the 
the Occupy General Assembly tonight. Not really a General Assembly, it's more of a working group council meeting when people go over what they're going, what they're working on and so on. I'm no longer in a part of a group anymore, so I have no reason to be there. However, I just need to be around people right now because I'm just going to fucking loathe my own self bullshit, whatever the fuck you call it. So that's, uh, it's quarter after six now. Council meeting starts at seven. I'm not going to bother filming it because I know those of you who are actually left watching my videos don't give a shit about Occupy. So there's no point in me filming it because nobody fucking watches it anyways. I'm just going off of what I see in my numbers. I'm pretty sure there's at least one or two of you that like watching the Occupy stuff, but the majority of, majority of you don't give a shit about it, so um, I'm going to go there, do whatever, talk to people, converse, and come back to my hole. Peter patter Let's get at her. What are you doing? Hi. As you always. Did you miss me? Hey. So I'm home now. That was fun and exciting. Ooh, I got a pin though. I am the 99%, so now I'm even more of a target than I was before. Yay! But, uh,. I'm gonna end the video there for today and sit down and fucking sleep or relax or whatever. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed my anger filled day, my anger filled week. That's just how it goes sometimes, right? It is what it is. Nothing I can fucking do about it. Tomorrow. If I'm able to figure out how to do it, I might go see if I can get the doctor to sign off on my stress level so that I can prove to welfare that I'm not in a very good place to be working right now. And see how that goes. Yay, whoop de fucking do. See you guys tomorrow. Stay strong, stay wise, you wankers. Peace.